Hi everybody, it's Chef John Conley coming to you from my outdoor kitchen in Flagstaff, Arizona. Welcome and thank you MWR, Navy Entertainment, Morale, Welfare and Recreation uh, for all you do for our men and women in the military and for supporting us, the Mess Lords. We're a group of chefs. We've been traveling the world for probably seven or eight years, been to over 50 bases, uh, traveled over a million miles, and cooked for over a quarter million men and women in our military. Um, I want to give a big shout out also to all of you who are watching this on bases all over the world. Um, it has truly been a privilege to come to you, whether it's in Djibouti, Africa, Okinawa, Sasebo, um, Spain, Italy, Germany, France, I mean, uh, they've taken us all over the world and I've had a chance to get my boots in the ground uh, in some pretty cool places and see firsthand the sacrifice that you make for us. Normally we'd come on tour, but we are quarantined. Quarantined. Normally we'd be on tour and we'd be coming out to your bases. Uh, I've met some of you, um, but we're stuck here. Uh, we are quarantined because of the COVID-19. So. Um, so this is what we're doing. I'm cooking in my backyard. I'm going to give you a uh, little instruction. We're going to make some gyoza today. This is quick. This is a very quick recipe and I think it's very easy. If you're on base and you got to go to the commissary, I have seen these. I use egg roll wrappers. I'm trying to, we're not making fresh dough uh, because I want this to be easy for you. Gyoza is also, also made with pork. I'm not going to do that. I'm fat and old and I have to watch my cholesterol. So we're going to use ground turkey. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Before you do this though, I have ginger and garlic and I want to show you how to prep the ginger and garlic. Because we're going to blend it all up in here and it's not going to get minced enough. So let me run you through a really quick way that I do ginger. I'm going to cut this into tiles. So I'm going to make it small and then what I want to do is make a paste with it. And to do that, I need something that's coarse or abrasive. Actually, when I was in Sasebo, I had this knife made for me there. Um, we went in the morning, I picked it out, I designed it, and then he forged it for me. And it says Johnny Brava in Japanese on it. Um, this is a beautiful knife too because it's light. I like a lightweight knife. So, uh, ginger. This is coarse sea salt. You need something that's going to give it some abrasiveness. So I'm just going to start making a paste. And that salt's going to allow that to happen. It's going to give me something to push up against. You're also going to get all the juice that comes out of there. Like I said, we want to do this because in this blender and the way we're going to prep this, it's not going to get processed enough. You're going to have big chunks of, of ginger. That looks good. Now ginger is strong, so I don't use a whole lot of it. Same with the garlic. I want to, I want to give it something abrasive to work against because I want to make it a paste. If I try to blend it up, it's simply not going to distribute throughout the recipe. This is ground turkey, but we're going to pulverize this whole thing and it's going to become a globular mess of turkey, onion, jalapeno, ginger. I'm going to put sesame oil in there. You can see we're just making a garlic paste. It's going to go in here. All right, so into this, I've got half an onion. I'm going to put a little bit of a jalapeno in here just because I like some heat. Cabbage. I'm going to put an egg. That's going to help bind it. And uh, let's see, I've got sesame. All right, this is soy sauce. This is gonna, just gonna have a, a nice salty flavor to it. One of my favorite ingredients, sesame oil. Very strong, so use this sparingly because it can dominate. 
All right, in goes my turkey. And I'm going to I'm going to just blast this. So before I start stuffing my gyoza, my spoon is right here. I'm gonna cook some of this first. I wanna make sure that it is seasoned correctly. This recipe is just a roadmap. Take as many detours you can use. If you do use a ground beef, use a very lean. This turkey is 90% lean if you do pork use lean. If you use a lot of cabbage, you can do veggies in this. We've made this with calabacitas, which is zucchini and a corn and a black bean. Um, cook it down and then I pour off the excess water and I stuff it in the gyoza. The way this is gonna go is, if this is seasoned correctly, we're gonna take this and we'll put it into our gyoza and I'll show you very slowly how to make those. We're gonna fry it for about 40 seconds and you're gonna see how nice and brown it's gonna get. And then I'm going to steam it with a little chicken stock. I've got chicken stock here. You can just get a box of chicken stock. I prefer it's hot. I want to keep this hot because I don't want to take a cold product and put it into a hot pan. So I want to see how this flavor is. It needs a little more salt and a little more sesame oil. And because no one's looking, I'm going to put the rest of this jalapeno in there because I can. All right, I'm going to call that good. Okay, so you take your skin, put half an ounce in the middle of your skin, wet just water around one side. The thing is, the side that you wet, you are not going to touch. You're just not going to touch this side. You're going to do all your folding with this, and it's going to go something like this. And there you have your little glios, I'll do you one more. Half an ounce, right in the middle, wet one side, over, pinch it together, this pan's on medium heat, this is just olive oil. Olive oil has a very uh, low burn rate, so don't do this over smoking hot. You're gonna see how quick these are gonna fry up. So, they steam essentially. You want a tight fitting lid, you want your your chicken stock right next to it with your ladle. I'm gonna make one quick move once these are fried and I'm gonna cap it. And then I'm gonna use, this is a, a three and a half ounce, I'm gonna use two ounces of, of the chicken stock. I'm gonna wait till these fry, then I'm gonna steam them. And you can see these are already starting to steam up beautifully. Fry up. So you can see you want these to get a little bit more brown. And I would put eight or 12 of these, do them in batches. You can freeze them at this point. See that? Yeah. All right, they're getting ready. All 
All right, a little bit of one quick motion. Watch your face. Don't steam your face. About a minute, you want all that stock to reduce down. I need to try this one and just make sure. Come on over, I'll make you a sauce. All right, brown sugar. Little trick if you didn't know. A piece of bread in your bag of brown sugar will keep your brown sugar nice and soft. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna call that a tablespoon. Rice wine vinegar. We're gonna do one part rice wine vinegar. One part soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame. And water, about a cup of water. And this is a really classic gyoza dipping sauce. And then because no one's looking, Everything's, everything's better with chili. No. Yes. A little bit of chili. And a little bit of this chili, because I love this chili. What? You could leave this just the brown sugar and rice wine, soy. That is perfect. Let me try it. You see how beautiful those are? Look at that. Into the sauce. Cooked all the way through. Oh man. All right, but you're gonna love these. No, I didn't. It's good. Mm. Okay, so you want this to pretty much all cook off. As you can see a lot of the steam is off. Look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna let them brown just a little bit more. And then we're gonna eat them. So your sauce. Rice wine vinegar, soy, brown sugar. One part rice wine vinegar, one part soy sauce, three parts water, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Mix that up, you're good to go. I added jalapeno and a red chili base to it because I like it hot, so this is pretty classic. You wanna see what these look like? Look at that, beautiful. That's a gyoza, come on over. Ooh, that's hot. That's it for our, for our gyozo. Gyozo, gyoza. I like to call them dumplings. Um, again, it's really forgiving. Um, in the commissary, you can get egg roll wrappers and then just find your protein or find your vegetables. The, the, a great thing to do too is learn how to stuff them. Go to YouTube, they'll walk you through it really slow. Um, and enjoy. Uh, so thanks again, MWR, Navy Entertainment, Morale, Welfare, Recreation. Thanks to all of our men and women, our brothers and sisters out there keeping us safe. Uh, I know this is showing all over the world at different bases. I wish I could be there cooking with you. Look out, as soon as we get out of this quarantine, the mess lords are gonna be on the road, coming to a base near you. I know we got the Middle East. I know we have a, a Eastern Europe. I know we have a Pacific Rim, um, possibly a South Korea in there. So look for the mess lords. I'm Johnny Brava. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you.